Hello everyone, and welcome back to, once again, another siege battle in Rome 2. Yes, you're back. Uh, this time we're at Alexandria and Kernisia. I don't know. You know what settlement this is. Anachronisia, Anachronisia, I, yeah, uh, you know what it is. Anyway, uh, today we have a 3v3 for you. Uh, this one was sent to us by Eric. It has been labeled the entire zoo, or something to that effect. Uh, so, uh, once again, Eric is joined by his two nefarious teammates, Billy T. Sherm and Starkiller556. <clears throat> uh, Eric is commanding Egypt, Billy T. Sherm is playing as Saba, and Starkiller is playing as his fan favorite, Saluki. Uh, attacking, we have Captain America 23 playing as Athens. We have Zach 876 as Iceni and Aurelius Maximus playing as Carthage. That's kind of ironic. So let's get into the army comps. We'll start with the defenders and then we'll. <laughs> and then we'll start. Okay. Uh, we'll start with. We'll start with Carthage and then cover Iceni and then. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> okay, so mercenary Italian swords. Uh, we got some Samnite warriors, living infantry, and sacred band. And then over here, they must know who these three are. Oh, we have African pikes, uh, sacred band, noble fighters, Samnites, Samnites, noble fighters, living infantry, uh, Onager, Cretans, uh, General's bodyguard. What's this? Living infantry. Iceni is rocking. Ooh, poor Iceni. You really don't know what's about to happen, do you? Uh, we have heroic nobles, heroic riders, slingers, or skirmishers, rather. One skirmisher and two slingers, and then we have chosen sword band, it looks like, and heroic nobles. Probably the same over here, too, right? Yeah, heroic nobles, chosen sword band. We've got some gorilla or ambushers, rather. Uh, thorax swords. Bro, oh, this is Athens. Thorax swords. Uh, he brought just a, a shitload of thorax swords. Uh, and then he's way over here. He's got a unit of Pais Lancers. We've got some pikemen. Uh, Thurio spears that have been double gold chevroned. I don't know that I would have done that, but, you know, what they can do. Uh, three Cretans, it appears, or two, or, yeah, three Cretans and a Rhodian Slinger. He also single bronze chevron them. Again, not something I would do. Unit of Thorax Swords, and then he has two mercenary Thracian warriors who are triple gold chevron. Uh, again, probably not what I would have dumped my money into. Personally, uh, I, I probably would have spent it on some of the Thorax swords, actually, just to give them a little bit of a buff. Uh, now, as for the defenders, <laughs> Jesus, what do we got here? We have four units of the Royal Camel Archers. We have Sab Sabian uh, Camel Cataphracts, Camel Cataphracts, Royal Marib Cavalry. Camel Cataphracts, Camel Cataphracts, Desert Heavy Lancers, Armored Camel Spears, Armored Camel Spears, Armored Camel Spears, and Royal Mareb Cav, and then his general is right up here, Mareb Camel Cataphracts, and Sabian Camel Cataphracts, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Seleucid is bringing with him, uh... <laughs> Size two size chariots, just a bunch of light cab as per usual, and then of course, fucking elephants at the wazoo. Uh, and then Egypt on top of that is bringing with him some light cab, camel spears, light cab, light cab. All right, we got some more chariots, Jesus Christ. Uh, carrying axemen as a gen, African elephants, Egyptian infantry, more elephants, uh, elephants, elephants, and another unit of chariots. 
This one is 28 minutes and 31 seconds, so obviously uh, they have a little bit of a tougher time here. Uh, I would say just because Athens and Carthage know something, clearly. So, alright, here we go. Let's see what happens, folks. So, here we go with the sally out. Um, I, just, I think that, you know, these, uh... Oh, is Saba firing? He is. He might just be auto firing. And there they go. They dismounted and now they're running away. Heroic riders, riders getting sent out. That ain't gonna mean shit. Firing? No, he's taking fire though. Um. Uh, yeah, your two heroic riders ain't gonna do nothing. Light cab getting into the ambushers. They're gonna start to whittle away at them a little bit, but we have to care. Look at that, sending the chariots back to, to deal with them. Meanwhile, back over here, yep, say, uh, Saba has sallied out completely. He's gonna have a little bit of a long go to get around, but once he gets there, he's gonna do some serious damage. Ooh, watch out, move the chariots, come on. Chariots getting, I guess, a little bit of a nice charge in. They didn't lose anybody, but they did. Light cab charging in for the uh, heroic riders. Lucid taking some long shots. Ooh, nice. Got some Thorax swords there. Meanwhile, Carthage is still just slowly but surely moving up. I mean, honestly, even if they do break in, he can just send his elephants in right away and, and let them go nuts. If he has to. Oh no! One of the chariots is already starting to waver. Hopefully they do come back. Also, the light cab is also starting to break a little bit. So I was firing at the heroic riders. Um, well, they are losing, actually. I don't know how. Look at this. Athens is... is what is Athens doing? Athens is literally abandoning Iceni. Athens is like straight up like, yeah, fuck you. I'm out. I'm done. Oh, man. Into the side chariots. They are losing. That's unfortunate. But hopefully they'll be able to do some serious damage and break these guys before they uh, really break. What are they up to? 83 kills. Yeah. Five left. They'll probably come back. Hopefully they'll come back. I see he's just gonna bum rush it now. It looks like Athens might be doing the same. Either that, or they're going over to support um, Carthage. Saba has finally made it around, winded but ready to get into the mix. Elephants finally come out. They're gonna help actually get rid of these uh, heroic riders. Carthage has made his way up to the walls. Hopefully they managed to... Yeah, you saw the Zama. Hopefully got some decent kills. We're only 33, but... Every little bit helps. And Carthage is now going to knock down this, which is completely pointless. So here we go. Trying to get in here as quick as possible, but the light cab is going to catch their skirmishers and slingers out. He's not even going to try and, and redirect any of his... There he goes. Uh... There's troops. Elephants coming in clutch to save the day. Managed to break the ambushers before they could really get on the walls. Now this oh now we got more elephants coming over. Three of the skirmishers and slingers or the range units are starting to break. He's pulling out his light cab. It's a good thing. They're starting to get bogged down. Uh Carthage is now moving in mass. Looks like he's setting up just kind of like a bit of a front, but he's not setting up good enough in the front. His cat is a uh, bleh. Carthage's ranged units are going to get caught out, even though the Sacred Band might make it back in time. And the African Pikes are getting moved, but they're in tight formation, so they're not going to be as fast. General's bodyguard's going to get caught. That's going to be big uh, if they can do some serious damage to him. But yeah, now he's just going to seriously get into this uh, mass of units here of, of, of the archers. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, go for the. Come on, go, go. Get the get the fucking onager. How do how do you word? What is word? How 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 do you word? Fuck. Um. I seen he over here is having a bit of a bad time. He's just trying to get in here, but now he is an elephant to deal with, and he's not even bothering to try and go in through the other breach point. And now he's getting fucked by an elephant in the front, and he's getting fucked by an elephant in the rear. Definitely not a fun time. I don't even think the elephants brought him dinner first. Uh, elephants from Egypt are now charging out. These guys have gone nuts. That's okay, though, because he has no allied troops hanging out around. These guys are going to charge in these Italian swords, do some serious damage. Meanwhile, Seleucid's light cab has been thrown into just a, a, a blob of fighting. Uh, Egypt's elephants are going to come around, smash into the back of these sacred man. That's going to be pretty big. Or he might even go after the Lucid infantry. Oh, going to go after the sacred man. That's a good unit to go for, especially since they were facing the wrong way initially. And now you can just throw these guys in there and leave them. And this is like ideal for elephants. Just blob tactics. Uh, elephants will have a heyday. Already up to 156 kills. These guys over here up to 107. Quickly now. Over here 136. 62. They're up to 187. Saba meanwhile is just kind of holding the line with Seleucid. And his light cab is two elephants. And uh, Egypt's light cab over here. So now they've been ground to a complete standstill. Iceni has been left three sheets to the wind to be picked apart uh, by elephants from either direction, including some of the armored camel spears, and not to mention the chariots as well, up to 116 kills. Carthage is completely clumped up here, and look at this. Athens leaving out his Korean archers, his, uh, I think he's already in here, right? Yeah. Pace Lance is going to charge in, but I don't think they're going to get a good enough charge for it to matter. And uh, Light Cat's going to rack up some serious skills over here. Saba's finding gaps, using them to his advantage. He's going to go this way or that way, one way or the other. Either way that he goes, it's going to be beneficial because he's going to get some pretty serious kills on. Side chariots are breaking. 155 kills for that unit, 160 for this one. Remember, with chariots, you kind of just want to keep pulling them through. That's the only unit, uh, along with elephants, at least in my opinion, that I feel it's kosher to continually push through, because that's really the only way that you can actually use them. Uh, up to 241 kills, and don't forget, even if they do break and route completely, if there is a unit that, uh, if there are units within uh, the units within, I, I want to say regiment, but I don't even know if that would be the correct. Uh, if there are still men alive within the unit, the chariots will continue to rack up kills. Uh, so now, ooh, elephants coming back. We're gonna charge in again. Carthage is just uh, discombobulated. I don't think he knows what to do. I mean, obviously, you would want to try and get him through here. Um, Iceni is just... has literally melted like a puddle of water in the hot sun. I'm not even kidding. I mean, they... They were, they were out, you know, all the way out here, and now they're just contained into this choke point. They can't get in or out. Uh, and these elephants are just having a complete field day over here, managing to do a number on them. These elephants are going, now going ballistic. I, honestly, like, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> it's, I, it's only worth doing this if uh, there are allied, or any allied units of, you know, Egypt around. There aren't. Now all you're doing is shooting fire arrows into a mass of your troops and they are demoralizing your troops while also keeping the, these guys nuts and they're just going to run past and go every which way. Meanwhile over here, Athens is trying his best to try and put up some type of a defensive wall. Uh, if I were Saba, I probably would have gone after the Thracian Warriors just because they do get a bonus against Cav and they also have a lower armor rating. A pull back now if you can, you don't want to lose any of these guys. Uh, so got the elephants over here. I see these heroic nobles have managed to, at least two of them are probably, or the one's going to come back, I would imagine. There's 61 and then 55 in the other unit. But they're just about gone. Back over here, Thurio Spears firing in a light cab. That's fine, you know what I mean? Light cab have done pretty much what they're supposed to do. Harass and, uh, and, and fuck up the enemy's lines, making them kind of wonky, sort of like this, actually. 
Uh, and they've done what they had to do. So now he's going to actually charge into some Cretan archers. That's great. Uh, Athens isn't microing very well. Can't really blame him, actually. Uh, so if he wants to waste his ammo on, you know, light cav instead of something more serious like these chariots or elephants, then yeah, be my guest. Go right ahead. Chariot's now going to... What is he going to go for? He's going to charge right into the back of these Thorax swords and also probably get into these Thorius or Thracian warriors. Screenshots. I'm pretty sure I forgot to do that in the previous video that I just recorded. Side chariots, five left. They'll probably come back. They actually they made it through the elephants. That is surprising, man. They might have pushed through, actually. Honestly, I would not have been surprised if, that, if that's what had happened. Because getting, I mean, they were literally stuck in this spot, and that probably got frustrating. But, little do they know, there's just more elephants inside here. I don't know what Carthage is doing. He's taking his sweet-ass time. He really needs to be getting inside the settlement as quickly as possible. That's the best way to negate cavalry charges and elephant charges. And chariot charges as well. Saba over here is actually just manhandling... <coughs> Pardon me. Athens. Thorax Sword's losing. Thurio Spear's gonna be losing soon, especially when you get charged in the back. Royal Camel Archers, only 25 kills. Hopefully they wasted all their ammo. So it wasn't a loss. Thracian Warriors are starting to lose, thankfully. And we still just have two offense here. Pikes are moving. This would be a great unit to go after right now, especially charging them in the rear. Light Cat from Egypt is still harassing Athens. Doing a su successful job, silly. Sally sells she shells by the seashore. Friend skirmishers are losing naturally to the light cav. Uh, never mind, I lied. Light cav is losing to the skirmisher. To the skirmisher. Uh, uh, actually, that's not surprising. The skirmisher is not still here, so a little bit better. And I don't know what at what. Where are you going? The wall is this way. The city that you are trying to attack and take is this way. You're going the wrong way. Oh man. Uh, yeah, yeah, Athens is just uh, not having a great time. Indian armored elephants making their way over. Uh, Syrians as well. I really, I mean, the Syrians look fucking, they're so cool looking. You know, with the little the things on top and everything. Definitely cooler than Indian armored elephants. Look how cool they look. Badass. Alright, um,. Carthage is managing to make their way in. Balance power is actually in the favor of the attackers. Not surprising, really. Uh, but that doesn't mean shit. <laughs> I mean, that really means jack shit, doesn't it? <laughs> it doesn't mean nothing. Uh, what do we got here? Elephants in the mix of things, up against some pikes and Italian swords and Libyan infantry. The pikes are too far back, though, to really actually be doing anything. Looks like he's trying to get his artillery in. Um, whether or not he'll be able to utilize this. Oh, he only has... Does he only have two left? Oh, no, there's another one. Does he have not have a, a third or a fourth, rather? I think he lost one. He did! Killed enough of the crew that they had to drop one. Athens just keeps getting pushed back. They're really just leaving Carthage out in the open. I even, I, I, like, what is he doing with his pikes? His pikes are just, this is now easy, like, this is easy pickings right here. Pikes alone, unsus unsupported, <clears throat> is definitely uh, chef's, chef's kiss. Just, you know, something you love to see. Meanwhile, these Syrian uh, armored elephants are just destroying these thorax swords because they're running away they're out of position yeah i i wonder if athens actually left the game and that's why this that's why this is happening right now because this is something that the ai would do 100 percent okay oh i didn't see his uh the game of cap gen actually but a game of cap gen is now out and about looking to uh bloody his sword somewhat 
pikes are facing the wrong way. Curious to see if we'll be able to get a charge off on them or if they're going to actually turn around in time to manage to not let that happen. Meanwhile, uh, yeah, Carthage is on his own. Uh, but honestly, though, I mean, Carthage could pull this off. I mean, I see he's up here, but I see. <laughs> I don't think I see he's gonna come down. Honestly, I see he's saying like, "Fuck you, I'm not coming down." Carthage, you go deal with them. I'm staying up here. And Athens is just like, I'm running away, and uh, feel free to butt fuck me. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, I, I'm, I will 100% guarantee that Athens left the game. I, I wouldn't doubt it. I could be wrong, you know, could be wrong, but that, that's my theory on, as to why they decided to retreat this far back, for whatever reason. So now it appears Carthage is starting to move forward a little bit, Egyptian infantry, fearsome, fearsome Egyptian infantry is going to make their way forward not do a whole lot, but hey, they're going to do something. Uh, he's going to start taking fire from the tower. And we still have some elephants here. Gakari and Axeman, obviously. Um, man, I wonder if it would have been beneficial to leave one of your artillery, the wall artilleries, uh, on the inside of this wall over here. Just so that you could... Uh, you know, use it against if, if somebody got in. Because look, that's what's happening over here. Ooh, yeah, you better get him in. You better get him in. African warrior elephants up to 601 kills. And these heroic no, if he can get in here, and I'm pretty sure that's probably where he's gonna go. If he can get in here before they can capture us, that'll be pretty big. Uh, but yeah, they just they don't have a lot left. The defenders don't have a lot left. And hopefully they'll be able to utilize what they have to be able to effectively snuff Carthage. 11 minutes, 30 seconds left in this one, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that cool YouTube stuff. It helps out the channel. And um, makes me feel like there is a reason to wake up tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I just want to, like I'm joking by the way. When I, whenever I like say all the you know, it, I'm just a joke. I'm not being serious. Um, ooh, they made it in, but they're getting jabbed to hell. So that's okay though. Even if they do manage to cash this gate, it's not gonna you know, it's whatever. Uh, so Carthage, yeah, Carthage is really just setting up kind of a uh Forward. oh no oh, no no get, get, get him up on the wall get him up on the wall get him up on the wall if you want to save him he's not going to put his pikes up on the wall can he catch this at least will he get this will he manage to, to capture this no stay 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 yes 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 he got it and now I see he's gonna come back around. <laughs> they're breaking though. I guess they're probably getting jabby that, yeah. Oh man. So Athens is completely gone, destroyed. Those no longer exist. Uh Iceni, for all intents and purposes, doesn't exist anymore. I mean, they only have one, two, three, four, five units left. And they're all really beat up. So I don't know what he's going to possibly do here. Uh, I mean, he, can, he absolutely can be of assistance. Especially if he can keep his general alive. What does he, what did he uh, take, actually? For, uh, it looks like he took nothing? Damn it, come on. It sucks that they're moving. It makes it difficult. Yeah, he took no... Wow, he didn't take nothing. What did uh, Carthage take? Rally and raise banner. Not, not, a, not bad to go with. Egyptian infantry running away. Not really surprised. They're not the best. But they came back. Eight kills. They probably have some jabbies left. Um... 
Now Seleucid's starting to come back with his elephants, chariots, 601 kills for that unit. Hopefully these royal uh, camel orcs still have some ammo so that they can use them against the pikes. You can see he's starting to cap recapture that tower. I don't know folks. Pikes over there. I mean, eh, you know, I'd charge the elephants in over here, I guess. This is, what is their bonus, 20? Is their, their bonus against large? What's their bonus against large? Pikes don't get a bonus against large units? Really? Huh, you'd think they would. Looks like he's gonna go for it. And or throw jabbies, one or the other. Those guys are throwing jabbies. Throwing jabbies? No? From the elephants. They're exhausted too, which sucks, but. What did, uh. Oh, he didn't take anything either. Oh no, he did. He took, he took second wind. So if he wanted to, he could he could pop second wind on the elephant. That's what I would do at least personally. I always like to if I don't have any units around, then yeah, I'll, I'll I would use uh, abilities on my allies. Karen Axe, I'm gonna start throwing ooh right in the side of the pikes. So well done there. That's a good good use. Uh, yeah. Get him, get him. Ooh. Looks like they lost quite a bit there, too. Uh, hopefully, he takes this Karen Axman general, or someone at least, with their infantry, comes around and captures this tower. Because this is right within range, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he could he could do something there. Oh, there we go. Indian armored elephants charging in against the stick man. I charge in the, the Egyptian infantry too, just for the hell of it. Hopefully these elephants get used soon. We got sick of man. Is he out of ammo here? Probably 40. Uh, yeah, bummer. If he had had it here, he could. He probably would have had a, a decent shot. So, Camel Archers are in. The only thing that sucks is they have uh, a limited range, but good enough to the fire in over here. Fearing Sword, yeah, they'll throw all their jabbies. Again, though, that's okay. Alright, no point in capturing that now, it's too far away. Man, oh man. Uh, Bounce of Power is... It shifted a little bit back in the defender's favor. Mm. Honestly, though, at this point, I don't know if, if they can... If Carthage can, can really do it. I think he's being... Too safe here. I don't think he's being aggressive enough. And he's just allowing himself to get bottled up again. And they're not pushing over here, like, there's multiple ways that you can, you know, either way. So it, it, all it really needs to do, because, well, I don't know. I guess there is, you know, quite a few units over here to, to tangle with. I think this is where Icini needs to come in and get down off the walls and come over here. Right, I see he needs to at this point is just needs to sacrifice himself. Get your units off the walls. Have him uh actually no, now this is even a, a better spot for them to be in. So I see he should definitely come over here. He should tie up this this unit and this unit. 
And that would give Carthage a chance to get over here with some of his units. The Sacred Band, these two living infantry, and the mercenary Samnite warriors. Get over here and you can start trying to cap that at least. But he, like, he's so afraid of doing anything, he's just letting them come to him. And it's, honestly, it's not really paying out all that well. Sacred Band's starting to lose real bad. The African Pikes are... I mean, which way do you face them? Do you face them this way or do you face them that way? You're, you're fucked either way. Ooh, these guys have gone nuts. That's not good. And then he brought in this... this Onager, and he's not even using it. Like, the Onager should be right over here, and he should be just ripping shots through these camel archers or going after these elephants so if they go nuts and they can... But he, he didn't use it. He only has 42 kills. He definitely has ammo left, but he's not, not using it. Both these units are going crazy. That's okay, because they're just they're getting stuck in here with the with Carthage's unit. Because again, Carthage just bought like <sighs> backed himself into the proverbial corner, you know what I mean? He had the momentum. I mean he he really had the chance to do something once he got inside the walls, but then he just like he, he pumped the brakes and didn't do anything. Saba and Seleucid were way out over here. You know, they were off in, in Kansas uh, while Carthage was in New Jersey. But then he sat in New Jersey and let them fucking drive all the way back from Kansas and now they're back and he's just not having a good time. Again, he waited too long. Now he has three units to do. I seen he's not doing anything either. What are you doing? What are you doing? I seen you are you helping in some type of way, any As type of way. My Lord. Oh man, this is frustrating. Very frustrating. Admittedly, I seen he's not the greatest faction to attack with either. It's been like, in my opinion. I, I feel like I've always heard that they're a better defending faction, which I, I think they are. Especially, again, like I always say, uh, factions that have slingers instead of archers are better defensive factions because slingers are better at defense than they are offense uh, in siege battles because they can't sling up and open the walls. So, oh, you just absolutely. This is such an. This is an expensive unit. This Onager is a very expensive unit, and he just, he, he didn't do anything with it. He wasted it. It's, it's very unfortunate. Um, and these elephants are just... This isn't, this is exactly what you do not want to do with elephants. Like, I'm sure that these noble fighters probably have jabbies left. They probably have a decent amount of jabbies left. Maybe even these, uh, even, maybe even the Samnites and the Libyans. What he should have done was sent in the sacred band and you know another depleted unit and then these three sword units flop back here and just let them jab you the fuck out of these elephants and that would have been how you got rid of these elephants oh hell yeah mass routing you'd love to see it <clears throat> that's it folks <laughs> that's it In my opinion carthage waste a golden opportunity to make some headway, seriously put on, put some pressure on the uh, units that were at the core, that were within the settlement, and uh, he just didn't do anything. And then, of course, Iceni was not doing squat either. They decided to come out and look at the last minute. To do what? I don't know. Oh, boy. All right. Let's get into it. Eric with 2,242 kills, 57 for his gen, 276, 313, 375, and 220 for his elephants, uh, 85 for his camel spears, 94, 125, 49, and 26 for light cab, 254, 181, 66, 113 for the side chariots, and 8 for the uh, Egyptian infantry. Billy T. Sherm with 1,227 kills. 32 for his general, 20, 78, 27, and 135 for the Royal Camel Archers. 77, 85, and 35 for the Armored Camel 
armored camel spears. 164, 93 for the Royal Marib Guard. 36, 51, 179, 189, 19 for the Sabian Camel Cataphracts. And then 77 for the Desert Heavy Lancers. Star Killer 556 with 2,864. 117 for his gen, 394 for the 394, 610, 601, and 5 for 513, not 513, 13 for his elephants. Fucking just absolutely madness. 220 and 11 for his side chariots, 163, 37, 55, 32, 34, 15, and 62 for the light calf. Just absolute devastation. Jesus Christ. Captain America, 23, 946 kills. They just, uh, yeah, literally no one beat, no one, no one made it past double digits. 91 for his gen, 92 for the, these Furio Spears, 69 for these Storax Swords, nice. 83 for the, <laughs> just, Jesus Christ, Zach, 876, 381. Uh, geez, <laughs> man, 99. Just, oh boy, 50 and 73 for the heroic riders. Jesus, uh, like, I there's no point in me like going over all the because they just, oh man. And then Aurelius Maximus, 492, 22 for his gem, 43 for the honor, 48 and 39 for the pike, 63 and 16 for the. Jeez, man, just absolutely getting. Oh God. <laughs> uh, uh, still waiting for you to break a thousand though with a with an elephant unit, Star Killer. Still waiting. I have faith in you. I know you can do it. Uh, all right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. In this absolute just clowning of a battle. Oh man. What did I say in one of my last videos with the three of these guys? And if you see them, just turtle up. And maybe these two saw my video or they played against them before. They probably played against them before is the more likely case. Uh, and they knew what the hell was coming. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, all right, guys. That's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know that I did. Uh, so with that being said, have a great day, morning, evening, afternoon, night, wherever you are, while you're watching this, just have a good one. Peace out, guys.